tomahawk steak, $101 with an addition of lobster tail on top of it. This is like your ultimate Fleming's meal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Woodland Hills, which is a really nice city in Los Angeles County because I'm gonna be visiting a restaurant I haven't been to in a long time. And I am so happy to be here. I am here at Fleming's Steakhouse. Fleming's is one of the most popular steakhouse chains that you'll find all over America. It's fine dining, it's American steak at its best. I'm gonna be getting their most expensive steak on the menu. I'm gonna be trying some appetizers, some seafood, some desserts, the whole shebang. So please do stick all the way to the end of this video because if you've never been to Fleming's before and you're thinking of going, this is the video you gotta check out because I'm gonna show you all the spectacular foods that you can order here at one of the most popular steakhouses in America. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be going in and having a nice big dinner. So excited. And I heard that from Sundays through Thursdays, I believe it's from four to 6 p.m. They have what's called social hour, which is kind of like their happy hour where they serve very reasonably priced bites and drinks haven't been here for that before, but it's definitely worth checking out. Oh yeah, this is the Fleming's menu. Look at that. You got some starters, such as their ahi tuna and beef carpaccio. That sounds great. And ooh, chilled seafood tower. Oh, I'm definitely getting that. And here's the main attraction. We got uh, seafood on this side, if you don't want the steaks. I heard they got some nice lobster tails and Chilean sea bass. And those signature steaks, Oh wow, look at that. Filet mignon and also the USDA prime tomahawk, which I'm gonna get, uh-huh. And you cannot forget about the desserts. And I never thought I would be back here in a Fleming Steakhouse kitchen. I love coming to American Steakhouse kitchens in general because all the food looks so fantastic. And right here are the, the ovens, the 1600 degree ovens that produces all the magical tasting steaks where it's juicy on the outside, crispy on top, the perfect American steak. And yikes, it is so hot. I can feel it right on my shoulder. And this one is their $88 chilled seafood tower. They got ahi tuna poke, which is right over there. And shrimp cocktail, see a little bit of that, as well as the lobster tail. Oh, that's always good. And then you also got the lobster claws too, uh-huh. As with most steakhouses, it does come with the fresh made bread, as well as this. We got, uh, let's see, butter on top. And then to the left is red onion, and then that's also cream cheese, uh, Cabernet butter from what I heard. And that to the right is champagne and brie cheese. I think with this tower, I'm gonna start off with the tuna, kinda go a little bit Hawaiian mode. Oh yeah, gotta get the avocado on top too. Mmm. It's like a very crispy, but like flatbread type of texture. That tuna is good. It's kinda sweet, that sauce that they use over it. So I noticed that with the lobster tail, they already cut it up into pieces, which makes it very convenient to eat. So they definitely use good lobsters on this. And by the way, this is the first time I've had a seafood tower in Fleming's. I've never gotten this before when I used to come here in my early college days. This is so fun, like a new discovery. When you eat shrimp cocktail like that, you, you know you're in a very nice American restaurant. The seafood tower, it comes in two sizes. So I got the smaller, but there is one that goes bigger than this. So if you have a group of like five to six, you can get that too. How fun would that be? Oh, my night is surely not gonna end off with that seafood tower. This is just the beginning. You see, we got the beef carpaccio, which is very popular here. You see the croutons, as well as the Creole mustard sauce. Got some shredded egg, I see that in the center. And red onions. And this is their famous crab cakes, uh, roasted red pepper and lime butter sauce. Ooh, those beef slices, they're so thin. Wow, I didn't expect that. Oh, that's good. 
the capers really makes that thing pop. I didn't even know they had things like this on the menu. It's pretty crazy. But then the crab cakes is something that I always find if I don't know what else to get. It's like my go-to thing. Mmm. That's so much flavor, wow. Lots of crab in your mouth. I think this is kind of softer than some of the other crab cakes I had before. Limey, buttery, just a, a slightly peppery. Their crab cakes here are very good. So yeah, you should get it. And this is the first time that I've had it here at Fleming's. Check this out, more came out. This is the wedge salad, which is a very popular one. Very eye-catching too. You see it has bacon, tomatoes, red onion, some Danish blue cheese crumbles, blue cheese dressing, and balsamic glaze. Very nice. This is their North Atlantic lobster bisque with spiced sherry cream. Mm-hmm. So with the wedge salad, it's not chopped, which means that you have to do a little bit of work of cutting into it. And this is when you're gonna practice your table manners. Mmm. I feel blue cheese will make anything taste good because it complements the crispiness of that lettuce so well. And I just love the fact that there's bacon in here. I mean, this is so cool. Like even bacon with blue cheese is so fabulous together. And by the way, this restaurant here in Woodland Hills is right across the street from the Topanga Westfield Mall. There's a lot of things that you can do here on Topanga Canyon Boulevard and Victory Boulevard. So if you're shopping and you wanna have some awesome steak, just cross on over here and they got it here. I love that feeling of that creaminess when it goes into your mouth and it goes down. Seriously, one of my favorite soups. And I heard that it's a uh, popular item here too. Wow, look at the size. This is so incredible. Okay, so the one to the right, that's the Fleming's potatoes, which I heard is a big hit here. You see that creamy cheddar Monterey Jack cheese blend on top? Leeks and jalapeno, yikes. And this one is the Chipotle cheddar mac and cheese. Wow, so it's smoked cheddar, uh, Chipotle panko breadcrumbs. That looks so good. Look, it even has lobster in it too. Cream spinach, always a safe way to go at these steakhouses. And uh, sauteed mushrooms. I always have to get this one. Tomahawk, which is $101, 35 ounce, uh-huh. And I got mine with the truffle poached lobster, which comes with a Bernay sauce and caviar. It comes with a sizzling hot plate. That's why I'm not touching it right now. I have to be a little bit careful so I don't burn myself. Call me crazy, but I decided to get a second steak because I haven't had a bone-in ribeye in such a long time. USDA Prime, this is 20 ounce, $68 on the menu with the addition of Diablo shrimp. Ooh, it even comes with the unique salt. Look at all three colors. To the right, that's Merlot salt, and to the center, that's black sea salt, and then that's the Himalayan salt. This is so exciting. So I'm gonna start off with the bone-in ribeye. That sounds so good. It's so juicy in the center. And yeah, it's a good thing I got it medium rare. That's the way you want it. It's been cooked beautifully in that 1600 degree oven. You really taste it. Mmm. Oh, those mushrooms are so good. Yeah, you definitely need to get the sauteed mushrooms, unless you don't like mushrooms, but I do. And I like cream spinach just as much too. Mmm. Wow, so creamy. That is pretty good. Yeah, so that is the tomahawk. This is the big one, the big show stealer. Uh-huh. Mmm. So good. Really good. I think the tomahawk is probably cooked a little bit more on the rare side. It's okay though. Because when you heat it up at home, leftovers, it'll be great. And did I mention that there's a lot of this butter over it too, like underneath? This lobster mac and cheese, like I said, first time having this here, although I've had it many other places. It's like a very lobster flavored mac and cheese. Wow, it's good. Okay. Um, I mean, me personally, I think I am more of like a mashed or baked potato type of person, but I just heard a lot of great things about it. It's super popular on the menu, so obviously I got it. 
It's really nice and cheesy. So if you love cheesy potatoes, you're gonna like that. Now this lobster is different than the other one I had. This one is the truffle poached lobster, which you can add on top of the steak. They have a few different options that you can add from the menu. Hmm. Yeah, it does taste like, you know, kind of that trouble flavor. I think that lobster is a nice addition on top of it. You get a surf and turf. <laughs> and I guess this is worth mentioning that on Tuesdays, they have a Taste for Tuesday special, which is their new three course menu for two. You get that whole Tomok steak. Sides, uh, salads, desserts. And yes, we are ending it off with style. I got the olive oil cake. And by the way, this is all made in house. This cake is made with not butter, but lots of olive oil. Oh yeah, with some fresh strawberries. And that is some whipped cream. I think the whipped cream will go on this, which is my other dessert. This is the chocolate lava cake with ice cream. This one I've not had before here at Fleming's, but then again, it's like tonight, most of it I've never had before. Mm. I don't know if I can quite taste the olive oil flavor because it's so subtle but i do know that it's it's spongy and it's kind of crispy outside because it's fresh baked with lots of fruits look at all that chocolate lava just coming out of it it's like oozing out oh that is incredible mm. yeah that one you definitely need to get here seriously one of the best chocolate lava cakes i've had in a restaurant and you have to eat it when it's really warm. Well, it's a good thing they gave you ice cream too. One of my favorite go-to steakhouses. So yeah, if you are in the area, especially Woodland Hills, and you're looking for a really awesome American fine dining experience, come to this spot right across the street from the Topanga Mall so that you can get awesome steaks and you don't have to get the most expensive one on the menu. I think you should get it because it tastes really good, but they got a lot of great selections good appetizers, good desserts. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be very happy with this place. Here's a nice little gift to go. Ooh, house-made chocolate truffle. All right, well, I think I'm gonna go home. Time to relax. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next food adventure.